Well, good morning. My name is Tom. And have another cup of coffee. It's a great day. It was, anyways. I got over here this morning. And it really irks me, and I'm still irked. I got over here this morning, and where I park uh, over the last couple of days, because I was just here at the beginning of the week, uh, somebody has come in and and had a party, I guess. And they look like they stacked up several tires, uh, or or burned several tires. I can't even begin to tell you how ugly this makes me. This right here is from just plain pigs, animals. This is a, you know, this is why land gets posted. Everything gets posted because of foolishness like this. I don't know how many tires that is, but this is a this is a business parking lot. This is a business parking lot where we can use and they come and they do this foolishness. Uh, right where I park. And it, that's just foolishness. You know, it makes a mess, number one. Uh, all the wire uh, from the, the bands that are in a tire are laying there in the ground. There's a pile of ash about almost a foot tall. So who knows how many tires that they burned in that spot. But it just makes a mess. And that's how property gets uh, posted. That's how you get thrown out. That's how roads get gated. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So that's why I'm irked and that's why that irks me is why do something so stupid? So what I'm going to do tonight, I've got a, I've got a crap tarp in here that I uh, put over that freezer. And I've also got a shovel. So when I leave here tonight, I'm going to take that tarp and I'm going to take that shovel and I'm going to clean that mess up. Uh, because you don't want the property posted. You know, so I wish I knew who did it. I, I would throttle them. But that's just the way it is. It's just stupidity. I know it's got to be kids. Anywhere from the age of just being able to get their driver's license to early 20s, I guess. After that, I hope you smarten up. I brought out a top. I brought out a rake and a shovel and I'm gonna clean this up but I'll tell you what it's stuff like this that really gets to my core but anyways enough of that but I'll clean that mess up tonight after I get done with the roof in here and then my plan right now is uh, today is Thursday uh, tomorrow I've got some errands to do. i uh, got to drop off a snowblower to fix it shop for my daughter. And then I'm headed to uh, a, a couple of towns away. I'm going to pick up some a couple of 55-gallon drums that I'm going to cut in half. Steel drums that I am going to cut in half. I need to boil up my traps. And that's going to be my boiling pot for the, for the traps. So that's what's on the project tomorrow, project list. Got a whole bunch of stuff going on right now, trying to get this thing wrapped up before fall. Uh, and the other thing I'm doing is, is converting my woodworking shop into the trapping shed so that I've got a place to take care of animals, take care of traps. Uh, I've got a couple freezers I'm going to have to move in. Nothing spectacular. I've got one up at the cabin I'm going to bring home um, until I can get a replacement for that. Enough so I can put furs and stuff in the freezer. Until I'm ready to deal with them and also animals. But busy, busy time. As most of you know, I have started a Patreon channel. We have uh, eight subscribers to the Patreon channel, which I think is great. Uh, building a Patreon channel is a lot like building the YouTube channel. It's slow, takes a little time. But I just wanted to, if you guys want to go check it out, I've got some public videos over there as well. Stop in, check it out. I'll put a link to it, uh, top of my hat, 
across the, uh, I'll put a banner to it up there, and as well down in the uh, descriptions, I have a, I'll have a link to it, and on my about page is a link to the Patreon channel. Come check us out. Like I said, some of the stuff is uh, public anyways. It's a great way to help support the channel and, and help keep it going. It's very time consuming. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing it. Everything that I do. And stick around. I can tell that uh, some of the stuff is... Uh, you're not liking some of the stuff I'm doing right now. I can tell from the... from the uh, not, not the likes, but I can tell from the watch time. Stuff like that. But stick around. This place is uh, just getting started. And this is where it takes place to start a, a, new, a new dream or to start a new, a new uh, outpost. You start with the building. You start with the trails. And then you put in your tree stands and all of that stuff. And this place is going to have lots and lots and lots of uh, stuff to do here. And lots and lots of content for the channel. So stick around. Be patient. Uh, this building is coming together, and we will be on to the adventure of developing this whole hunting grounds. And I got some great ideas for it, uh, especially when it comes to the trapping. Uh, fresh deer sign coming in my trail this morning. So they're using that four-wheeler trail uh, pretty regular now. There was actually deer tracks in it and moose tracks. So that's exciting. Deer season's right around the corner. Trapping season's right around the corner. Uh, I'm going to get those grandsons over here. And they're going to help me to put out some gear for the raccoons that are in the area. There's plenty of raccoons in the area. So we're still working on permission outside of the property that I own. So I've got some tricks up my sleeve that I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys. So cannot wait for the wood stove to go in there, let me tell you. Because uh, just hearing the crackling fire and looking out over this uh, deer hunting country is going to be a pretty, a pretty awesome thing to do, let me tell you. And have my coffee! So throw me a bone, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you want to go check out my Patreon channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, go on, check it out. I've been working on it uh, pretty steady, pretty hard. Got some public videos in there for everybody. So I will see you next week.